Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be installing a no frills web notepad onto our server. You can see I have up here minimalist web notepad. And the description is this is an open source clone of the now defunct notepad.cc, a piece of paper in the cloud. What a nice tagline that is. Let's open the demo and take a look at it. Now, if you open up the root URL to the service, it's just going to generate a random string on the end. However, you can type in whatever you want on the end here. So if I type in something there and then here and going back to it, it will always be there then. So that's how you can make notes, like you can make a to-do note, you can make any type of note you want and reaccess it in that manner. So that's what it looks like, that's how it works. Let's go ahead, dive in, start getting this thing set up. Scrolling down here, we can see there are Git branches with examples using Docker. However, these images aren't hosted on anything like hub.docker.com. We have to build them ourselves, so it is gonna be a little bit different there's going to be a few extra commands that we need to run in order to get this thing spun up. But it's nothing that's going to be too difficult. We're going to get started right now. Let's SSH into our server. And we're going to change into our Docker directory where we store all of our compose files and bind mount our data. However, this is where things are going to get different. Instead of creating a folder for minimalist web notepad and setting up a compose file, we're going to be doing a git clone into this directory. So we're going to copy the repo up here, and then we're going to type in git clone and paste that in. If you do not have git installed, just do a sudo apt install git, and that will install it and then try to rerun that command. Now you can see we have a new folder called Minimalist Web Notepad. Let's CD into that. And then let's click on this link that says Docker. This is going to bring us to the version that we actually want to use here. Click on this. This is the hash for this version. And we're going to copy just this section of the URL up here. And now we need to change the version that we cloned to be the version that we want to use to create the Docker image. We're going to do a git reset hard and then paste in that hash. We'll go back to the documentation here and now we can follow along with the rest of these steps and we'll be able to spin up this image then. So we're going to do a sudo docker build t just like that. Let's ls. And we already have a Docker compose file in here, so let's open that. And let's see if there's anything in here that we should be changing. So we have container name, that's good. Restart. I might change this to unless stopped. We can't use port 80, that's already in use. Let's try 1880. And then for the volume, let's store our data in data like this. And then we don't really need a volume here any longer, so we can delete that. And then the other thing, as you know, if you follow along, I like network mode, bridge, control S, control Q. And now we can do sudo docker compose up dash D. All right, let's see if that's working. We'll type in the IP of our server with that port, 1880. And here is minimalist web notepad working. Like I said, we could do a to-do here. And so that is minimalist web notepad. Again, it's a no frills notepad that's gonna be easily accessible from all your devices across your network. It's good for just quick notes. I use it for to-do lists, for grocery lists, just very quick and efficient way to take notes. Now, if you do want something that offers a little bit more features and better organizations, I would recommend Trillium. That's what I use to manage some projects and some 
other things that require better organization. And I'll be doing a video on that too down the road. But I hope you enjoyed this video on Minimalist Web Notepad. Thank you for watching and you have a nice day. Okay, so here I'm just going to be adding the Minimalist Web Notepad to the dashboard and then also to the monitoring system. Instead of adding the root URL, I'm just going to add the link to the to-do list. All right, so that's been added. Now I'm going to add it to the monitoring system. And I'm just going to fly through this without explaining it. I've explained it over and over in my other videos. But if you want to know how this monitoring system works, I made a whole video on it so you can see exactly how this works. Green check, fresh ping, we are all good. Refresh the dashboard and it also got added there. Again, thank you for watching and you have a nice day.